let's take a look at how to deploy a printer using a group policy and the new deploy printers functionality in a Windows uh, Active Directory. Now, I do already have a current policy that's doing a login script to do my printers, so let's disable that really quick. That way, if you're watching the whole video series, you'll say, wait a minute, Grant, you had this earlier. So I'm going to go to my map uh, printers, and I'm going to comment out my code. So here, so we're going to say, that way we don't have to get rid of that old policy. We still have it. I'm just going to make comments there so that we don't do anything. We're not going to try to deploy the printers. Okay, that way. Good. So now what I want to do is I want to go start. I want to go to my administrative tools on one of my domain controllers and run group policy management. Now, there we see that printers via login script, and that was just calling that script we just disabled. So we're going to make a brand new policy, and we're going to call this printers via group group policy deployment. All right. Now, so let's go ahead and edit this new group policy we just built. And we want to deploy this to users or computers. Well, that's the cool thing about deploying printers. It's now in both places. If we go under our, oh, let's see, Windows settings, there we go. Under our Windows settings, I just want to, I want to open everything up so you can see it, we see that deployed printers shows up under computer configuration policy Windows settings deployed printers and also user policies Windows settings deployed printers. This type of deployment is useful if you want specific workstations to always have certain printers available. This one is useful if you want the printers to follow the users. So if you're building a uh, group policy on an OU rather than on a particular uh, 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 rather than your whole Active Directory, you could have it follow specific computers or follow specific users. We're going to do this with a user. So we're going to go down here to deploy printers. There's none currently deployed, so we're going to right click, say deploy printer, and we just have to know the name of the printer we want. And in fact, we don't even have to know that because we can click browse and we can find any printers that we might have with the appropriate tools. I don't have browse it network discovery so I'm not actually going to find any of them, so I'm going to have to put the path in, in this case. So we're going to go to first printers, Win 2008, DC1, Dell Laser Jet 3100CN. I bet HP is going to get mad at me because I called it Dell Laser Jet, and I think Laser Jet's an HP term, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to deploy that one. We'll click OK, and there we go. It's now basically going to be deployed to the, the anyone who this policy applies to. Now, Let's see if we have any other printers out there we can try to deploy. Let's see if Win 2008 DC2 has anything exciting. Ah, they have a Canon Image Runner. Let's try that one. So it's called Canon Image Runner. So we're going to say deploy another printer. And we're going to say Win 2008 DC2 Canon Image Runner. And we'll add that to the list. And so now we're saying deploy both these printers. And if the drivers are available on the client machines, these printers will apply. Okay, well, now what do we do next? Well, I guess we go and test it. Now, I've got a handy dandy Windows XP station here. Let's remove the current printer we have. And let's go out to a command prompt and do a GP update, telling this system to check to see are there any new group policies or any group policy changes that have occurred. And now we're going to do GP result. And let's see if that printer deployment via group policy is showing in the list of ones it should be running. Otherwise, we may have to wait just a minute. Well, there it is, printers via group policy deployment. Okay, let's try GP update again. No, it doesn't look like it's going to deploy it magically for our user here. You know, if we do an F5, it hasn't deployed it. But let's see what happens when we log out. Now remember, we did comment out the lines in the login script, so the login script isn't going to accidentally install them for us. If they get on there, it's going to be because of our group policy. So let's go ahead and bring up our printers. Oh no, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Well, let's take a look. Or maybe it's processing in the background now. Let's see if we have anything in the event log about it. Nothing there. Nothing in our system. Something here about print, but that was a while ago. 
don't have any security information. So, yeah, there's nothing here telling us. So this tells us, wait a minute, why, why can't we get our printers deployed this way? Well, this says maybe it's got an XP issue. Maybe we've got something else going on. Well, let's go try one of our servers. Let's see if our servers get the printer this way. Here I have one of my other servers. Let's see what happens as far as the printers from this server. Because maybe this is just a Windows Vista and 2008 thing. Hmm. Okay, those are all the local printers. So let's go ahead and log this user off and log back on. So we'll go ahead and log back in. Okay, let's take a look. Control panel, printers. Now remember, it's probably not going to deploy its own printer. It's Canon Image Runner, but look at that. It did deploy this one all of a sudden. It deployed the Dell Laser Printer 3100CN from Win 2008 DC1. Well, let's try our other domain control. Let's try this one. So this is our DC1, which under its printers, it has just the Dell, Laser, and a couple others, but it doesn't have the one from Server 2. So let's go ahead and log this off. So we know the policy, because if the policy is working, we'll know because it'll have... Ah, can't type my password today. It'll have the Canon Image Runner on it, because we said deploy both those printers. It won't deploy a printer, obviously, to itself, but it will deploy the one from the other server. All right, so if we go to control panel and we take a look at printers, look at that, we have the Canon Image Runner. So let's go back and revisit our XP and just see maybe it just needed some time to work. Hmm, nothing there. Well, let's do a quick restart on it. Oh, okay, fine. We'll have to do a shutdown. I was hoping to do a command line, but then again, this user isn't an administrator. Well, the computer's coming back up, and we'll see what happens. Now, we know it works with Windows 2008, which probably tells us it's going to work with Vista. But XP, this is where a lot of administrators are going to say, you know what, sounds like too much work, Grant. I'm going to stick with that login script that I was using before, because then I know my XP users are going to get it the right way. So let's go ahead and check, though, one more time. We'll cross our fingers. Yeah, we didn't get it for some reason. So it may be I don't have a certain patch on my XP machine. So that deployment of printers may not be the most reliable way for your XP machines. But if you're using Vista in 2008, you go forward with your, uh, you know, go forward with deploying it through group policy. So hopefully this uh, gives you some good ideas on printer deployment with group policy, where some of the benefits and some of the things that aren't going to work are there. Now. Could we do some more troubleshooting? Yeah, and when if we determine that there was actually something that I missed in there, shouldn't have been, then we'll come back and revisit this. All right, I'll let you, we'll give one more try. I'll kind of give you an idea how I'm troubleshooting this. I'm not going to see if I log in as administrator if I get it, just in case. Just in case it's because it, all, it wants to apply an administrator to do it first. Let's see if the administrator gets it. He didn't get it either. So it's not because I'm not an administrator. So there's something to do with this particular, up, I'm missing an update, or it just plain doesn't want to go to XP on me. So that's one of the downsides to all these new features. So as you start to get in here in your group policies in Windows 2008, be sure that they're going to be compatible with what you're after because that under that printer uh, printers via group policy here under our, our deployed printers let's make sure we did in fact commit it we did have these two let's see if help tells us anything yeah it doesn't tell us anything uh, and this probably isn't going to tell us anything working. A started GPOs. Yeah, there's nothing exciting in here that's going to tell us. So 
we'll say right now that I've got an issue with this XP machine. But it did work. The deployment worked. So it worked on our domain controllers. We saw that work. And so we'd either have to do some adjustments or stick with a login script.